We live in a world that's a very imperfect place. But the Buddha says that we can develop our perfections, qualities of the mind, qualities of the heart. They make it possible for us to find happiness, no matter what the situation is in the world outside. Our problem is that even though we want happiness, we're so skilled at making ourselves unhappy. We can find things to get upset about, things to worry about. And it's very easy to stir up the mind. It's not so easy to calm the mind down. And yet that's what we need to do in order to find true well-being inside. We have to learn how to keep the mind calm and on an even keel. So things, thoughts that are coming. You can think about the dangers in the world outside, the, all the turmoil, but you don't have to. One of the problems of all the mass media is that we learn about things that, over which we have no control. But it distracts us from actually working with the things that we can control. The Buddha is pointing out that even though you may be powerless in some areas, you still have power in, in the areas of what you're going to do and say and think, what intentions you're going to act on, what perceptions you're going to follow. So take advantage of that fact. As you settle down with the breath, what kind of images of the breath are helpful to get you to settle down? And as you're thinking about the world outside, as the Buddha said, you want to put aside greed and distress with reference to the world. Tell yourself, right now I'm not responsible for the world. I've got to take care of my mind. There will be times when I am responsible for things outside. But I do my job best if I've got my mind in good shape first. So there's a voice inside saying that you're being irresponsible. Say, no, this is the most responsible thing to do. As John Suat once pointed out, each of us has one person that we're really responsible for, and that's ourselves. Other people we can help as best we can. But they'll be making decisions on their own, making choices on their own. Even the Buddha couldn't for force people to go to awakening. So take advantage of where you do have the power. You do have the power to focus on the breath, and then on the next breath, and on the next breath. You do have the power within you to stay with one thing for a while. It's when the mind gets to settle down like this that it can rest and then gain strength. Because we do need strength to deal with the issues of the world, the times when we are responsible for things outside. We're going to get that strength if the world is not helping us. Okay? We have to get it, gain it from within. That's why this is such a valuable skill that the Buddha taught, how to find the potentials for strength inside and how to make the most of them, how to take this habit we have of knowing how to make ourselves miserable and switch it around. And Develop the habit of knowing how to put your mind at peace, how to give a sense of well-being inside. Because there will come times when the world is no help at all. But if you have these skills that you've worked on inside, okay, those will be your mainstay at that point. This is why we say we take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We take them as examples and then we try to develop their qualities within us. And when those qualities are within us, that's when we have a refuge that we can really depend on. So work on your refuge day after day after day. And you find that this habit of the mind to create suffering for itself, after a while, makes no sense at all. You're doing it only because you're ignorant of the ways of not causing suffering for yourself. Once you know those ways, then why bother to Make yourself miserable again. And John Swat said it's like taking a candle into a, into a cave that's been closed up for centuries. The darkness in the cave doesn't have the right to say, well, we've been here for a long time. This candle doesn't have any right to chase us away. As soon as the candle comes in, the darkness has to go. As soon as the mind develops insight, as soon as it develops knowledge, its ignorance has to go. And all the foolish things it did based on that ignorance are going to go as well.